What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install Opti Fabric for Fabric Minecraft 1.19. While this isn't an official OptiFine project, it is as official as you can get. To begin, obviously we'll need Fabric 1.19 installed. You can skip past this section if you already have it. If you don't have it, in the description down below, you'll find the download link for Fabric MC at fabricmc.net. Simply click download for Windows here. And right below it, in bold text, you'll see Fabric API. Click this as well, as we'll need to download this too. So on this page here, click download in the top right. Make sure it's game version 1.19, and it'll then download. If you're watching this in the future, and this isn't the 1.19 Fabric API version, head across to Files, and locate the 1.19 release somewhere here, then download that. Awesome. Now we'll click the Fabric installer to open it up. I'll click Run. And we can choose version 1.19 from the Minecraft version here. Leave everything else as the latest and simply click install. Then you'll see the notification about the Fabric API. And because we already have it downloaded, we won't need to click this. So I'll click OK. And we can go ahead and copy this text here as we'll be heading across here in just a moment. So I'll select it and hit Control C to copy its path. And we'll close the Fabric installer. Then I'll hold Start and press R to bring up the Run dialog. And inside of here, we'll simply paste in what we copied, or you can type in percentage app data percentage slash dot Minecraft. And while you're typing it, you should see an autocomplete that you can click here. Then hit OK, and we'll head into our Minecraft folder. Now that we're in here, simply look for the mods folder. And if you don't have one, right click and create a new folder. Simply call it mods, M-O-D-S. Open it up and make sure you have nothing in here that isn't compatible with Fabric 1.19. This includes all Forge mods and all Fabric mods that were created for versions before or after 1.19. Because this is the Optifine from the Forge video, which you'll find linked down below, I'll either need to delete this or I'll need to rename this folder here to be, say, Forge 1.19 and I'll make a new mods folder as such. Then open it up. And from our downloads over here, I'll simply drag the Fabric API that we downloaded into the folder here. Then, in the description down below as well, you'll also find a link to Opti Fabric. Then we'll need to head across to the Files tab at the very top. We'll scroll down a little bit, and we'll make sure that we're downloading the version 1.19 release. Click Download here. Then once it's done, we can simply drag the OptiFabric 1.19 jar into our mods folder here. We'll need to go ahead and download the official OptiFine jar from their website. In the description down below, you'll also find the OptiFine.net download link. Simply head across to it and look for Minecraft 1.19. If you don't see it, click Show All Versions here. Then when you've found it, if you don't see a download button like this, click Preview Versions and look for the latest release. Then either click Download to view an ad and support the developer, or click Mirror to skip the ad completely. Then choose Download here, wait for it to download, and we'll be dragging and dropping it into our Mods folder here alongside these other jars. Awesome. Now that that's done, we can launch up Minecraft as we would usually. Then inside of here, I'll simply make sure to choose Fabric Loader 1.19 from the releases dropdown, or you can head across to Installations, and if you don't see it, click New Installation, then from the Versions dropdown over here, select Release Fabric Loader, followed by whatever numbers, 1.19. Because I already have it, I can either click Play, or I can click the three dots, followed by Edit, and we can choose the amount of RAM we'd like to give it. In my case, XMX 8G, the 8G meaning 8 gigabytes of RAM. Of course, you can customize this to any amount of free RAM that you currently have on your PC. Save it, and we can either click play here, or we can select it from the drop-down once more and click play here. I'll take this, click play, and we're now launching into Fabric 1.19. And if you receive an error like this, then you'll simply need to download an older version of Optifine and drop it into your mods folder. So I'll head back to the downloads page, I'll expand the previews, and I'll download, say, preview 4 instead. So I'll delete pre-5. Download Pre4. When it's done, I'll drag and drop it into my mods folder once more, and we can try and launch it up again to see if that fixes our issue. There should only be an issue with pre-releases and not the full release when that eventually comes around. Of course, this just means that OptiFabric needs to update to support OptiFine, as once again, it's not an official mod as far as I understand. 
And there we go. Minecraft has successfully launched up in Fabric 1.19. And in the bottom left, you can see 1.19 Fabric and Optifine 1.19 here. I can head into Options, Video Settings, and you can see all of these brand new settings here provided to us by Optifine. Of course, now you can join whatever Fabric server you are playing on or load into a single player world as you would usually. And you can now enjoy Fabric 1.19 with Optifine installed. Though this isn't exactly the best way to get the highest amount of performance for your game. Instead, in the description down below, you'll find a link to another guide that I did on Fabric that goes through a ton of different mods that basically do the same as what Optifine does, though way, way better. I do plan on updating that in a super optimization guide for Minecraft 1.19, but that's a secret for now. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobay here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.